For some people, including me, the load image sequence option in Photoshop is grayed out. Uh, the most common reasons I found for this looking online is people have selected multiple frames of their animation and then tried to click it. And in that case, it will be grayed out even if it works with your version of Photoshop. But for me and lots of other people online, it doesn't work even if you only have the first frame selected. And so the way I've seen most people get around this is to go file, script, load files into stack, and then select all the frames. But as I'll show you with the first four frames of this animation, that's really, really slow. So there's one frame, there's the second one, the third one, and finally the fourth one. And I stumbled across a way to load all your frames at once very, very quickly. Uh, the way you do this is you hit window, you show the timeline, you hit this button right here, click add media, and then add all of your frames and it will load all of them once very, very quickly, like so. However, what you've got down here right now is a video timeline. So if you're trying to make an animated GIF out of all your frames, what you've got to do is hit this little button down here in the corner, which will convert your timeline into a frame animation, like that. And then you can select all your frames uh, and change the uh, delay to uh, the inverse of whatever your frame rate is. So I want this to be 30 frames a second, so I'm going to put 1 over 30 as the frame delay. And now, if I play this, I get a nice animation. And I can save this the normal way by going File and then Save for Web, etc. So that's my little workaround. I haven't seen that anywhere online, so I decided to post it in order to help people. Uh, I hope this saves you some time.